Welcome back everyone to a Mail Plus new VR tutorials in Unity. So I previously made a four part tutorial series on how to make a full body in VR on my main YouTube channel Velum. And today I have the pleasure to share with you this video which will not only resume all of the series in a single one, but show you a better and most robust way to do so with arms IK, procedural walk and hands animation. But before you know the drill, feel free to support my work on Patreon where you will be able to find the source code of all of my tutorials and exclusive content like this special overview of how I recreated Beat Saber in Unity using only ChatGPT. But now, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm inside a very simple Unity project. I already made a VR setup with NPresents using the Unity XR toolkit. Now, of course, this tutorial can work with any VR SDK. You will only need the position of the hands and of the head. But the first thing that we are going to need is, of course, a 3D character model. So what I'd like to do is go to Mixamo. There, you can download any character that you want. In my case, I'm going to download this one. So let's click on download, select FBX for Unity, and click on download again. Now, once it is downloaded, you can simply drag it in the project folder of your Unity project. And there you go. At this point, it should look like this. Now, <laughs> little tips, if you have no material showing on the character, you can actually go to materials, and in location, select use external materials. Next, make sure that the animation type of this avatar is set to humanoid. You can do so here on the rig tab, then on animation type, humanoid, and then click on apply. But now that's done, we have a nice looking character in our project that we can drag in the hierarchy. There it is, we can move it to the side like this, and we are now ready to use it as our own VR body. Okay. So a naive way to make this character follow our controller would be to go in its bone, like here under spine, and for example, move the hand bone to the controller position. But as you can see, there is just one little issue. Well, the rest of the arms does not follow. So to fix this, we are going to use inverse kinematics. Now to start with kinematic, we need to go to Windows, Package Manager, Unity, Registry, and search for Animation Rigging Package. There it is, we can select it and click on install. Once downloaded, we can close the package manager and if we select back our character that we can rename VR character IK, let's go to the animation rigging tab that was recently added and select bone renderer setup. As you can see, this has added some gizmo to display the bones of our character and that we will use to easily select them from the scene view. By the way, you can even change its color here but now let's get started with the arms IK. For this, we need to add some constraint to the rig that we can see here. I'm going to create an empty children to the character IK that I can rename VR IK rig and then add a rig component to it. Now, as you can see, we have an error showing. So to fix this, let's go back to the character IK, add component and add a rig builder. Finally, we can then drag the VR IK rig to the rig builder. There you go, now we are ready to add some new constraint. I'm going to create a new empty game object, call it right arm IK. We can then add a new component called two bones IK. To set up this component, we first need to click on one of the first bones from the right hand. This should make you select this Mixamo rig right hand game object. So let's now go back to the right arm IK, drag it to the tip. And here is the real magic. Now let's right click on the component and select auto fill from tip transform. And as you can see, this has auto complete the two other bones, so the root and the mid, but also added two empty game objects for the target and the hint. Next, we need to play them correctly. I'm going to select the target, press on control key, and then select the mixamo right hand from earlier and go to animation rigging, align transform. And here it is, as you can see, this has automatically placed the target to the hand position. Now for the hint, this is used to say in which direction the arm will fall. So what we can do is simply reset its component, then place it below and behind the character. Something like 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5. And there you go. Now if I click on play, 
Oops, as you can see, our character is now taking a weird position. And this will be fixed later on, so don't worry about it. But if I move the right arm's target, the rest of the arm follow. This is so cool. But you know what we have to do now. If we leave play mode, we simply need to repeat this again, but for the left arms. There you go. Now I have another two bone constraint, but for my left arm this time. And as you can see, my left arm target is placed on the left hand position and the left hint behind the left arm at minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, and minus 0 0.5. And if we click on play, there you go. As you can see, both our arms are controllable simply using the target. That's awesome. But now one big question is on everybody's mind. How can we handle the legs? And we actually have two ways of doing this. The first one is animation based. This is the method that I covered previously in my tutorial series on how to create a VR body, which use a walking animation and add a Nike layers on top to bend the knees in the animation. But for these tutorials, we are going to use the second method, which I think will give us better result. And for this method, it is to create the whole animation using IK. Now for this, we are going to use a script from the Unity channel that made a similar system for this walking robot. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is add two bones IK for both our legs as well, which you already know how to do from the arm setup. So let's do a little bit of video speed up magic and see you in the future. There it is. So, as you can see, nothing new. I added two new bones constraint with this time the foot bone. And position the hint of both legs in front of the body to make them bend in the good direction. So, if I click on play, everything works as expected and I can control the legs as well with its two targets. Now, to create a walking animation using this IK, I'm going to select both leg target, click on add component and add a Nike foot solver to it. Now. As I told you, this script is from the Unity Walking Robot tutorial that you can find in the description below and I highly encourage you to go watch it if you want to learn how this script is made. But the good thing is, you will be able to find the link to download this script as well in the description. But make sure to leave a like on your way there. Anyway, now to set up this script, let's drag the VR character IK to the body. Set the terrain layer to default. By the way, if your VR rig has a capsule collider, make sure to set it to a different layer and to not select it right here. But now I will only select the right foot and drag the left foot in the other foot variable. And then do the same again, but for the other foot. And now if I click on play, as you can see, if I select the VR character IK and drag it down or up, the feet stay at the ground and the knees are bending. Which means that it is working, but now the most important, if I move the character forward, as you can see, it moves with a walking cycle. That's so cool. Of course, it is not perfect in no mean, but I think it already gives a pretty decent result. Now, the only problem is that the feeds are rotated, but we can fix that if we go to the foot rotation offset. And in my case, I found out that a value of minus 120, 180 would work. There you go. Now that's in play mode, of course, so let's leave play mode, rewrite these values to keep them this way, and there you go. Now at this point, we can control both arms and legs. What's missing is obviously the head, and luckily, this one is the easiest. Okay, so for the head IK, I'm going to add another constraint called head IK. We can add a new component called multi parent constraint. And for the constraint object, we need to go to the character rig, go under neck and drag there the head bone. Then for the source, let's create an empty child of the head IK called head target. We can now go back to the constraint and drag the head target in the source object. There you go. At this point, you should know the next step, which is set the head target position on the rig. So let's first select the head target, then the head bones. 
go to Animation Rigging Package, Align Transform. Beautiful, and there it is. If I click on play, as you can see, it works. When I move and rotate the head target, the head follow as well. That's awesome. And we can now control all body parts. So what's left is to make them follow the controller and the VR headset of or VR rig. Okay, so in my latest tutorial series on how to make a VR body, I made a script to make the three target follow, the VR controller and the VR headset. So to save me some time, I already added this script in this project and you as well will be able to find it in the description below. Now for this script, let's go to our character, add component and add the IK target follow via rig script. Now if I open this script in Visual Studio, as you can see, it's not that complicated in this late update, I will call the map function for the three IK targets to make them follow the corresponding VR rig position. But also, it will move the root character as well to make it follow when all VR headset move. Anyway, now let's go back to Unity to set it up. For the IK target of the head, let's drag the head target. Now for the left hand, the left hand target. And for the right hand, the right hand target. Okay, finally, we are now missing not the IK target, but the VR target, which are on our VR rig here. But little trick. Instead of directly dragging them here, I'm going to create some empty game object as children of them to help calibrate the body later on. So let's select the main camera, the left hand and the right hand, right click, create empty. We can call the first one head VR target, then left hand VR target, and then right hand VR target. And then we can drag them in the corresponding setting on the IK follow VR rig component. Beautiful! Now let's have a look at the result by clicking on play. Now, as you can see, the head is following our feet, which is kind of weird, but if we go to the IK target follow rig, we can actually change the head position to minus 0 0.54 on the Y axis to fix this. Next, as you can see, if I move the right hand and the left hand, it seems to work, but we have the end of the avatar that are offset from the position of our hand in real life that are represented by the blue hand. Now, in my case, I found that for the left hand, a value of minus 0 0.046, minus 0 0.032, and minus 0 0.112 would work with a rotation of 0 0.9098.5. So, before continuing, let's copy this component leave play mode, paste it back, and don't forget also to go to the VR character rig to set back the position offset on the Y axis to minus 0 0.54. Finally, let's click on play once again, and the last thing is to set up the right hand. But luckily, the right hand should follow something similar as for the left hand, so let's paste the same component that we copied before and write plus 0 0.046 instead of minus 0 0.046. And instead of 90 degrees, add 180 degrees. Oh, and it seems that we need also to add a minus value on the Z axis here for the rotation. So let's write minus 98 here. And there you go now, the position seems to match. We can copy the component once again, leave play mode, and paste it back. Of course, we can do the same, but for the head right now, in my case, I found that a value of 0, minus 0 0.08 and minus 0 0.006 works great. And now, there you go. If we click on play one last time, as you can see, the position of the avatar is correctly adjusted and seems to follow our body at the good position. That's awesome, but the last thing missing is that, as you can see, the hands are not animated like our blue hands. So let's find out how we can fix this. Okay, so let's leave play mode. To add animation to the character hand, I prepared before recording this video a special animator called the VR Rig Animator and that I have here in my animation folder on this project. So if I double click on it, as you can see, this animator has two layers, one for each end and here, four parameters to control the different animation. 
And if I just show you one of the layer, the left hand, for example, it is composed of one blend tree that will use two of the four parameters to select the corresponding animation that you can see updated from these parameters on this little preview on the right. And by the way, to make sure that the right hand does not overwrite all the animation of the left hand, I added an animation mask to each layer. And anyway, you will be able to download this animator and the corresponding animation as well in the description below. But now let's go back to the scene. So in the VR character IK, for the animator, let's set the controller to VR rig animator. Perfect. So at this point, the last thing left is to update the value of the animator based on the controller inputs. And for this, I have a very simple script that I made previously called animate on input. If I open this script, as you can see, it is very simple. I browse a list of inputs and set the corresponding animator value. Now, anyway, back to the Unity editor. Let's add four elements. The first one will be right pinch. So make sure here to type the name correctly. And we need to use a reference and link it to the right hand activate value. There you go. Now we need to do the same, but for the right hand with the right select value. And now let's finalize everything by doing the exact same thing, but for the left hand with the left hand action. Oh, and something that I almost forgot is that you need, of course, to reference the animator parameter that you have here. So let's drag the animator from the VR character IK to the animator of this animate on input. And just like this, everything should be ready. Let's now click on play one last time, I promise. And there you go, guys. Congratulations. If you managed to reach this point, it means that you succeeded to make the full VR body avatar with end animation. And I mean, the result is really, really cool. Of course, not perfect. You can, for example, improve the arm in position or make a better walking cycle with the IK, or even make the whole arm twist when we rotate the hand, but I think it is already cool like this. Anyway, thank you for watching, and a big shout out to my new Patreon that will appear on the screen right now. So, if like them you want to support my work and access the source code with exclusive content, you can join us on Patreon with the link you will find in the description below. Thank you for watching, and see you soon, bye bye.